What's up? Shit. First off, I'd like yeah. to apologize to everyone who expected a timely video last week. One of us who's not black um, didn't upload the file in time. <laughs> Shocker. Because <laughs> you expected guys, to be the I untimely was... guy. Yeah, somebody <laughs> almost got cussed out at 11 o'clock, but somebody just said, oh, I'm done, and hung up the I'm phone. I'm like, what do you like, mean you didn't I was so, George, I'm telling you what, I was so tired and I'm like going, what? I'm going to be up till four in the morning. It was so funny. And I'm like, I'm just going to bed. I'm just going to bed. But anyway, whatever. Yeah, well, um, we me, got it I, done. When I came back up to bed, I got cussed out by Jesse. She's like, what the fuck were you doing? She's like, are you stupid? I'm like, all right, thanks. <laughs> right. Yeah, Go so, Jesse. Yeah, anyway. She was definitely on um, your side on that one. <laughs> um, UFC 166, George. I mean, I, you know, it was an incredible card. I I'm mean, hammered. you know, I'm so hammered. Huh? <laughs> I'm hammered. Uh, George is texting me, and ah, I'm like, yeah, I'm so uh, hammered. <laughs> I'm just, I was lit up during it, during it, but uh, but. With any, with all that being said, it was a great card, man. Dana White's gone it, on record and said this is the best pay per view ever in the history of Everton. It, and you know what? A lot of people agree with them. I mean, a lot of people. I, I think you yeah. have. I think you have two fights on this card that are going to be battling neck and neck for fight of the year. Yeah, I mean, and we'll. Yeah, I mean, and then well, I guess let's just start with the preliminary card. I mean, one big thing we we didn't see coming is KJ Noon showed up <clears throat> and got the unanimous decision Good over. For uh, him. Soropolis, you know, and uh, and then Jessica I defeated Sarah Kaufman, and then Hector Lombard looked crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, you want to talk about, oh, look, we always talk about how GSP looks grainy and his skin looks thin, and if you've ever seen bodybuilding, which, you know, Kevin's come from, Hector Lombard could walk on stage and no shit, I would seriously co uh, compete and, and be high level. I mean, that dude's he, skin he, he, was paper thin and grainy. His muscle, he looked like just, a fucking cartoon character to Buck's He did. Day. He was so dry, man. And I mean, I, you know, I mean, obviously now he knows, and he said he feels comfortable at welterweight now. He's, he's, he wished he had kind of made the cut to welterweight a little bit earlier, but, uh, he just, he put it on Nate Marquardt fast. <laughs> Yeah, Mark he did Wars, not play. Like, the Mark fuck is going on? had no answer for his power or his speed. He didn't even attempt right. to take down. He just I, I, uh, Lombard's going to be nasty at a buck seventy. And look, I was somebody who was not singing his praises when he came over from Bellator, and he disappointed right. in his first fight, knocked out a can right. in his second fight, and then this is his third fight in his first one at a buck seventy, and he looked very impressive. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it, you know, you know, you look at it, and like we said it last week, we touched on it a little bit. It's like all of a sudden this welterweight class, and it's getting deep, it's getting competitive, and you know what? I think GSP is like, you know what, man, I've 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 rolled in this class for years now. Why why sit around? I mean, I especially with a movie career right there, I would I would be rolling the fuck out because you got too many hungry guys in this class, man. I mean, it's getting deep, and uh, um, speaking of another fight on the undercard was uh, Boach versus CB Dalloway. That was a decision. But, oh, dude, CB Dollar. And you know what killed me? And again, this mm -hmm. is one of those where I, I looked at Jesse's mom and she's like, don't let it go to the refs. Two right. refs had it 30 to 20. Because CB Dollar got a point taken away. And I, I understand because he kept his hands open and, and poked Boach in the eye at least twice. One time drawing right. blood. And you know mm -hmm. what? After that, I'd have just DQ'd him. Like, if you can't keep your hands shut, and I'm so tired of hearing Rogan saying, they need to change the glove. They need to... Dude, just stop right. poking people in the fucking eyes. But two right. refs had it completely one way, and the other ref had it completely... Like, I don't understand what these people are seeing. I mean, it was 30-26, 27-29, 30-26. I, 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 I'm telling you what, man. You're going to constantly have people these... And he, Dana White's the first one to do it. He complains about the judging all the time. I'm oh. like, you know, well, you probably want to invest in finding some good-ass judges then if it's going to be an issue constantly. Well, you know what I mean? Don't think, I don't think it's up to him. It's up to the state. They're state appointed by the athletic commission, aren't they? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're, you got a good point. I'm talking I, outside I, of my honestly, neck because you're right. I think you and I should try to go get as appointed judges in Vegas. We could. You you could be on one side of Cecil Peoples and I could be on the other. And he'd see oh, us yeah. both at the same damn time. <laughs> that mug is standing in the middle of the week and see both sports. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Open up his front door, watch his kids playing in the backyard and shit. <laughs> anyway, man, you let's get to the bank like card. You say, uh, okay, then. <laughs> anyway, you ain't shit, man. You he might be out that way, isn't he? Yo. Okay, no. okay. Wrong, anyway, wrong, I, wrong geographic location. <laughs> I'm wrong sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Anyway, um, 
the flyweight. And guess what, guys? Everybody toot my horn because I didn't say flight weight. The flyweight fight between John Dotson and Daryl Montag it went exactly the, the way I thought it was going to go. And I mean, I, you, you are, you know, John Dotson is arguably the second best flyweight in the world right now. I mean, the guy is, he's, you know, it's, it's pretty much like what we said. He, he's fast. He's quick. He's full of energy. He's explosive. And bam, he hit dude with that left to the body and then opened it up up top and it was a wrap. That fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah.